Good afternoon and welcome to London. We're here today to gauge what impact the recession has had on learning, training and development in your workplace. I think uh, while, while in a job and uh, for, for a person to, to kind of keep themselves motivated in order to um, be productive within the workplace, I think it is definitely the employer's responsibility to, to, keep, to keep their team happy and uh, to, to invest in their staff, which is essentially what makes up the, the companies for... for uh, the company mostly. that I work for does offer really good like, development and training for new and old trainees. There's always room to progress in my company. As the recession bites, businesses all over the country are feeling the pinch. During the recession, I think companies should not cut back. At first, it will be detrimental to the company in terms of money but in the long term you'll have a, have a far greater gain with more workers knowing what they're doing and you'll get a far greater uh, increase in their work quality so I think it's, I don't think companies should cut back at all because you'll have a, few, you'll have a greater gain in the long term. Since the recession began has the company cut back in any way on learning training development? Have no, you noticed? if anything it's actually it's putting a lot more into training development they're trying to get more new staff into ease the load for the staff they've already got. So. Who do you believe is responsible for the delivery and cost of learning and training in the workplace? Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to answer that, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not, it's hard to say as a general, um, as a generalisation, but if I was thinking of specifically the last job I had and who was responsible for, for that and for, for looking after you and for helping you and for dealing with things like the recession and giving you the opportunity to succeed at what you wanted to do then I think it's part of it's anyone that's got any authority in that job. Do you believe in a recession that companies should either increase spending on learning training and development or should they cut back? I think my company's leading the way by increasing it because you're only securing the future for more people and it's got help in the end doesn't it? I believe in people should take courses and stuff to learn something new because a lot of people know one way of work and when you don't get that kind of job you know they find it quite harsh so I believe courses to help them to find to get trained in something new and that would help them to get a job in a way. And so, in conclusion, what we've found today that by working in strong partnership with both governments, trade unions, employers and the aspirations of individuals, together we can meet and achieve our learning targets. Don't live 20 years of school and then they put you on the day shift. Look out, kid. Keep it all here. Jump down a manhole, light yourself a candle. Don't wear sandals. Try to put a scandal. Oh.